Hi guys, and welcome back to the Backstage Bikini Podcast with your hosts, Grace and Jade. And today we are back for a review. It's only a couple of days after we have watched, all had the pleasure of watching the Arnold Classic Ohio. Obviously, we're absolutely glued to the screen and the television from the UK to watch the bikini um, division. So we have a guest as well today to help us out in terms of the review. Um, she was glued to my side and glued to the TV with me. Um, but if anybody follows her on Instagram, we'll drop her Instagram handle later. But I've got Charlotte Weldon on Hi. the podcast. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. <laughs> She's an welcome, listener. welcome. Absolute pleasure. Um, obviously, I met you the other week and I was like, this girl is such a vibe. We need to get her on the podcast. Oh, your energy and your passion for bikini as well. I've seen over the last few months and year. And obviously, it was the last year you competed. Yeah, first time yeah, last first year. Time. I, just, I just did one show and then straight back into off season. So yeah. but I've been following the sport for probably about three years now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're you're just a bikini alley, true and true. You're in the yeah. thick after your first season. I feel like that's when you're like really re- rearing to go and you're learning so much about it. So exciting. But yeah, I had to get you on. Share what you think, because obviously you were watching it with Jade up until all hours. I have to say I was in bed at half ten. <laughs> a little bit more, a little bit more dedicated than I was. <laughs> what did you think? I suppose watching it like there and then, or I suppose what like what were we did never did like a predictions so like what were your guys predictions going into it do you want to go first or shall I you can go okay um I had it pretty close to the top five I'd say the only person that was rogue in actually yeah no top hmm a little bit further off than I thought actually top four I definitely had Mm -hmm. um so I knew Amy and Laura Lee um and then I had Phoebe in the top six and I also had Angelica Teixeira in the top six obviously we were missing Issa Puccini because she wasn't well so the minute she was sort of out the picture I knew that those four were gonna land somewhere um I had Tamika Tamika um Mm -hmm. in the top six as well which she didn't appear at all um which was a shame but I do think that um Vanya will will go into it but I do think Vanya really held her own this year so yeah I had four I had four in there um but in terms of like sort of top two top three initially I had Amy Laura Lee and sort of Angelica Teixeira sort of battling out for those top three spots so not too far off not too yeah where were you we were I was about the same um and it was mad because when we were watching it we we physically could not decide between Amy and Laura Lee and then we'd watch Amy and we'd be like she's got this Mm. then we'd watch Laura Lee and we're like no she's got this and like we just couldn't actually call it when we were watching it Mm. which is why we then stayed up the following night to get the whole results because it was so close between them two and then to find out there was only one point in it It was like, I'm not surprised, to be honest, but really pleased to see Phoebe top five Mm -hmm. um, flying the flag for the UK. Mm -hmm. Um, So that was, and she brought, like, she looked absolutely incredible on there as well. So it was really good to see her there. Um, Angelica, I thought maybe third, but she got fourth, I think. Um, So it it was really tight. And then all of them on their own looked incredible. And then when you look at the comparisons, we really were nitpicking, weren't we? We were like, literally like, oh, well, her condition was like, her yeah, condition yeah, yeah. slightly better than hers. And it, it's like, and we were literally sitting there on the couch being like, who are we? Like, we're literally <laughs> no, I know, like, it's literally hairlines at that stage. And so like, bad. I think that's literally, so far beyond what we actually know. Like yeah. obviously we know bikini, but like they're there in the flesh and mm. it's so hard over a screen to be like to just actually pick out those little hairs yeah yeah um, who did you have grace I to be honest I had Laura Lee going into it I did I I have to Die say hard. favor Amy and I'm going to go into it and I still do feel that she was my number one mm-hmm. I'm going to put it out there it's going to be controversial I'm probably going to have people in the comments being like what the hell? <laughs> I, I still stand by what I said when I saw her walk out on stage I was like yeah, um, I've always been a fan of her physique and more so Laura Lee because of who she is as well, her personality yeah. that I've grown to love. Um, With Angelica, yeah, I think 
nobody really knew what she was going to look like after no. such a long time off. Um, so yeah, I was going to battle like third and fourth. Obviously, I would have had Issa in there. Um, mm. can I just say like massive well done to Angelica. I think she is such an inspiration to actually get on stage and be up there. Like it's just yeah. incredible after all of this time and the kids and yeah, like I think that's a that's a win in itself. Yeah, for a first show back as well. <laughs> she nailed it. She's such a queen. Like absolutely. But, um, but yeah, they all smash it. and Phoebe as well. Stunning. Really, really yeah. love Phoebe's look this year. Yeah, to have two mums up there as well. Oh, like two mums yeah. in the top six. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. If, if that doesn't tell you that you can do this at any age, in any situation, no matter what your commitment level and what yeah. that looks like, they're walking talking examples of how how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, massive well done to them all. But let's pull up the scorecard because I think it was yes. only put out. Sorry trying to navigate this share screen thing um you do so well honestly i'm glad you do it and i don't (laughs) (laughs) yeah i wouldn't have a clue (laughs) but no in terms of scorecard i think it's the third one in there isn't it um but in terms of the scorecard it's it's actually interesting how close first and second was and then how definitive the other placings were Mm -hmm. you'll see it now so you literally go from sort of seven, eight yeah. total points and then straight up to 15 with Vanya. So I think that that first and second really must have been a battle because there's no cut and dry mm-hmm. um, sort of majority there because of the numbers, you can tell. Yeah, for sure. Um, Evie came ninth, which is quite far down for her. Like, mm. I feel she was like really in the mix and in Europe absolutely mm-hmm. um, and in the kind of maybe smaller shows in the US but at these bigger ones these are not she kind of she kind of didn't have yeah. much of a look in yeah um, as the rest of them I don't know is it a height thing is it a condition thing over the last few years she has been like really really peeled mm-hmm. um but I yeah. think with Evie yeah. this year, Evania, like her her conditioning actually was notably softer through the back so I don't know whether it's I mean, Ivy's always struggled with her conditioning up against um, sort of a US lineup but just because of the look and the differentiation between the European sort of scene versus the US scene. So I think she actually appeared to come in much softer this year, but maybe perhaps to um, a fault almost in terms of a conditioning through the back, um, because obviously everybody's different. Everybody responds differently in terms of peaking as well. And it looks like they brought her in softer, but she didn't quite have the condition yeah. um, sort of nailed through the back in terms of the sort of the tie-in detail and that kind of thing. I think she lost that at the expense of coming in that bit fuller. So, but I I love, I love Ivy as well. Like it's, it's a shame because structurally she's absolutely outstanding. Yeah. 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 She really is. And she mm-hmm. will dominate the, the European scene again, I'd say this year, if she is. Yeah. I don't know if she's got her um, Olympia qualification yet, has she? I'm not sure whether that was the first show she's mm. done. I'm yeah. not sure. Uh, she, I'm pretty, I, I know in 2022 she did. Um, mm-hmm. She was one of the first to get it, I think, but I'm just not 100% sure. So she might be having a, a big season. And even if she does have her qualification, she is quite active in the European shows. Yeah. Like, you know, she likes taking the, the Spanish titles and all of that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what she does over here. Um, yeah. Otavia, yeah, as well. Um, yeah. Just had, looking at her page today, um, she's really, really made some solid improvements. I think moving with Paul, she's fitting the criteria in the US. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like the the criteria that they look for over there very, very yeah. well. Yeah. Um, comparing to what we saw her, what show was it at in Europe last year? She was very hard for. Was it the Sheru Classic? She won it, didn't she? Yeah, she could have was won it? it. There was another one then where she came like third or fourth. And she was very, very lean for it like two totally different looks I think she mm. brought a lot yeah. for her this time around and I think Paul said on Instagram that even going into finals they filled her up um mm. even more yeah. so um yeah it's interesting to see what her and Paul do this year with her physique yeah. as well because I think I saw the Instagram uh reel that she put up and like again going into sort of nitpicking with her physique like there was parts of her movement where you could see striations through her delts and things like that so I think she's potentially one of those athletes that really has to in, in air quotes spill like to fill her up because she she seems quite athletic like not not like for like in terms of structure but kind of 
similar to Ashley Coltwasser in, in that she's quite an athletic physique. Yeah. So it must be yeah. a challenge because she's got quite a, she's put quite a bit of muscle on the frame as well, like her glutes as well, especially have really come on. Mm-hmm. She yeah, had a lovely shape. Well. Yeah. Like a lovely shape. Like we were, when we were watching it, like as like as we were saying before, like each of them on their own, mm-hmm. you're like, oh wow, like this the standard was absolutely incredible. Mm-hmm. But um yeah, when you when she was like next to the other girls and in the comparison, you you can sort of see how you get pulled apart a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conditioning. I mean, the conditioning through the back, she's she, I mean, that's gorgeous. I just think it's so much better. Well, her yeah. her back shot was so full. Um oh her, yeah. Um, I think her back shot was always quite good it was more so her upper body yeah generally quite peeled her midsection I think this is really really nice mm-hmm. and like we've heard before about like the veins and stuff and I think you need to look past that because that's a genetic thing really yeah 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 I mean at the at that level I suppose they're going in and being yeah. extremely particular but like you said it's it's a it's very much a genetics thing. I mean, vascularity to a degree, you can only control it so much. These girls are lean. Like mm. don't, don't be under any illusions. They, they get, they get very lean. Um, and I think from a peaking protocol in terms of like making sure that they fit in the bikini criteria, you're filling up the muscle bellies. You're not just letting them go on, on stage out of shape. So it's, it's making sure that you understand that that is still a, it's still a risk that they run to come in that little bit vascular if, if that's the way that their body's inclined to respond to be in that condition. So it's a difficult one. Because I remember when Maureen was saying that she's just got the genetics where even when she's lean, mm. because of her like skin tone, thick skin. She, yeah, yeah, she can't get vascular. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. She can't yeah. actually do it. So I think this is why bikini is so interesting because it literally is everything you can't peak to athletes at that level the same no because every single person's so different and when you're competing at that level if you come in one percent less or one percent too much they just you just get marked down for it yeah yeah you're so right yeah 100 percent so who's next along after Tavia? We we'll, have... run through, we'll definitely run through like the top five, six in yeah. the actual call outs. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Any standouts for you in terms of like things that you were expecting, Grace, and, and sort of didn't come through? Any Anybody that not disappointed as such? Or, not really. Or the I, think said, I think you said at the start, like there wasn't like that crazy a difference between people. No. no. Or no. like I think you know from our previous reviews and even just like keeping an eye on on Laura Lee like you never know what's really going to happen yeah like she could come in mega mega full she could be really really lean and I think you're just kind of anticipating that so Mm -hmm. it's interesting to see how close her and Amy really were yeah condition side of things as well like there wasn't anything all that different Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sure we'll take like we'll pick them apart when we go Go through but they're two very different physiques like they really really are like tall short like I think structurally very different as well really really different like mm-hmm. clavicle width all of that kind of thing um yeah, yeah we'll definitely pull up the things because there's an in- there's just some interesting comparisons that I've, I would like to roll off you guys and, and see what you think but mm-hmm. that's what these reviews are about we're not here <laughs> just to go with what everybody thinks yeah. and and I think They're just our oh, humble opinion guys it's down to, it's down to a p- opinion and what I heard someone yeah. else say we're all going to interpret the criteria how we want to. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's just all opinion at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's pull up the video because it's actually a really, really good one. Yeah. This is your top two, ladies. So... Brilliant on my big telly. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've got like a 60-inch telly or something and watching yeah. this, I'm going to mesmerise. Just, just <laughs> by the glutes, just watching them all. Will we pull up? <laughs> um there's no need to pull up the individual routines yet will we do the top two first uh, or- yeah yeah do the comparisons first because it i think um not interestingly watching finals, i suppose but yeah um so there is octavia uh so there's tamika Oh my god, they all I think this is second call outs, yeah. Can't cope. <laughs> it's the finals, is it? When they were just calling them out. Uh, yeah, I think so. 
could be wrong. Yeah, Octavia definitely stands out there for me. Mm-hmm. 100%. Here, Front be. shot's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. It's just like comparing condition as well, just ever so slightly next to Ivy there. I think Ivy, um, she's just dense. Like for a t- like for a smaller athlete, she is incredibly dense. Um, mm-hmm. And it's, it's a difficult one, like I say, to to sort of balance when you've got that kind of muscle um, and and to balance that against the conditioning for the criteria is difficult to do. She's been training for such a long time as well. So it's, it's inevitable really that she's going to come in looking that little bit more matured mm-hmm. next to younger athletes as well. I mean, I don't know what the age difference is like with her and Octavia. They could be quite similar because again, Octavia has well-bedded muscle there, but I just think she looks rounder. Octavia has that slightly fuller look um and that pretty muscle that adam it has coined that that <laughs> term but yeah no uh, what's this girl's name sorry i haven't seen her before is it is it anna could be yeah because I, 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 I looked at her individual routine and i was like wow but yeah, yeah. I think from a muscle maturity standpoint maybe she just has a small bit bit more to go yeah yeah uh, being in, in front of that lineup that's pretty pretty epic yeah absolutely absolutely so to be up there is is amazing mm-hmm. um so yeah let's go through the so this is the second call outs yeah harrison's sorry and then here we go here she oh, is oh there she is <laughs> incredible she is. and you know what she doesn't look all that different from like free baby so I thought that a lot. I mean, with with Angelica, like I think it was just a conditioning um, point through the back. Like I think there was a little bit of a film on a lower glute, so like where the tie-in is, that just separated her from the top three in yeah. terms of conditioning. But her actual shape, her, her glute size, I mean, this oh. reminds me of when she was last on stage at the Olympia. Like she, like take the conditioning sort of elements away, like her shape and her actual sort of structure on stage hasn't changed a great deal sorry look at this glute. yeah i know, I know. <laughs> that is that is a glute yes that is ashley caldwater a run for her money yes and that dealt like, the glute ratio as well from that yeah. side shot like it's crazy yes, phoebe has big glutes we mm-hmm. know but she makes phoebe look like she has small glutes <laughs> <laughs> it's so like, round and dense yep yeah like it's crazy i think her her, like her quads and her hamstrings are like overly developed either so it just makes that really pop and her upper glue and everything yeah yeah she's got such an iconic figure like there's there's a very like well famous in my mind i don't know how famous it is for everybody else but that that like lean over before she transitions into like her walk forward on her eye walk like watching that like her structure and her glutes and they've always been sort of iconic in terms of like just her shape and and who she was in the sport but you can kind of see it here if you compare next to Vanya um especially next to her it's just that hairline underneath at the bottom when she was walking in particular there was a little bit of movement um and to be honest on on the back of having two babies if that's the worst that can be said for her physique on her first show back (laughs) is like (laughs) It's a conditioning think, point. Yeah, what I know Adam always points out with bikini, and something I've only had the eye for lately is actually looking at that film of bikini there, and you can see yeah. it that yeah. it kind of closes in on her. Yeah, there is probably a little bit more to to come off there. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of oh, what's her name again? It's gone in my head. Is it Ellie? Ellie Fernandez. Ellie really like her back shot here to be honest yeah I think she just came in a little bit too conditioned through the hamstrings yeah I can see that but mm. yeah I just really like the glute the shape of her actual yeah. glute I know the hamstrings are a little bit leaner but I just really, yeah. really like her look there and how her back looks as well mm. yeah she did she did really well Ellie um incredibly well and I think if you're going to start nitpicking in terms of her placing, I think the only thing that started separating her from sort of the top three, like, because if you look at Vanya's structure and, and Ellie's structure, they're not too dissimilar. Vanya's quite snatched in the waist, like she's got a teeny tiny waist. Yeah. Um, but in terms of fullness and the glutes and things like that, she's done really well. I think from the back, that's where Ellie may have lost her points in terms of um, just the conditioning through her hamstrings and through sort of when she was walking, you could really see the detail through the backs of her legs. So 
and when they're they're pulling away so heavily away from that sort of over conditioned look in in bikini I think that's the only thing that sort of shuffled her down really because structurally she's gorgeous yeah really yeah. is I love pink suit as well I love those diamond we said it didn't we yeah the diamonds across the um sort of the rhinestone backs of the yeah, bikinis yeah. so nice just adds such a nice touch a couple of the wellness girls had them as well and when you do the hair flick and you just see this little like line Ooh, of a... sparkle it's mm. like it just it's so yeah, subtle it's but it's so nice more on her back doesn't it what's that it does stand out a little bit more like compared to the rest of them just that yeah chop. yeah it's just very clean looking as well I found like where where they tie like Vanya's obviously ties you can see it just underneath her hair but I think like that clean line is just so just yeah. so nice yeah it's really nice Phoebe looks great here as well yeah yeah Phoebe really looks so good, good. A very good balance upper to lower mm-hmm. I know she's been training upper body a little bit more as well the last mm-hmm. while yeah I think Janet um, made a comment actually um about her potentially being a little bit obviously Janet was there and she was on the panel at the time potentially being a little bit more top heavy than lower um because I know Phoebe's commented before like her upper body doesn't take a great deal of stimulus at all in terms of growth like she had to scale back her training for her delts and things like that um I'm sure she said it on a YouTube maybe a couple of years ago about scaling back her training for her upper body because it responds incredibly well but um again I think I mean her placing and a a package and the the glute development from the front especially um was just incredible I think again my eyes were quite drawn to her um adductors the whole time and I don't like it's it's one of those things isn't it I don't know whether I was I was drawn or whether it was in the lineup that stood out to me Uh, as a good thing as as a reason for her to stand out oh right Um, okay yeah. yeah So not even not even a negative as such, but in a lineup like that with with that that was the only thing that we could kind of see that differentiated yeah. her from the top four is that development in or the 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 eye was drawn to her adductors right. at the time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, interesting. I think her I think her upper body is like again, balanced. this is like yeah, I think it is quite balanced because of her yeah. height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Especially I, in a front shot as well. Mm her front shot is gorgeous for 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 the balance yeah. i think that the only thing we could see on the night compared to the other girls again mm. her adductors were just a little bit more prominent mm. um but the rest of her condition was perfect because it is it's apples and oranges at yeah. that point isn't it like they're looking at the preference really like let, let's face it yeah but yeah beautiful like her pausing was just unreal as well. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. She had been getting help from Beatrice and Shay. Yes. While. So that was always interesting. Just get that a different eye. Here we go. The I mean, just look at these two. <laughs> I mean, come on. Sorry. <laughs> Why? Anything. Can can we just give ourselves a pat on the back? We got two of these absolute icons on the podcast. Two of the biggest like they're my two biggest inspirations yeah, yeah me too like my yeah. two favorite physiques i always said laura yeah. and Amy are my two favorites and mm. there they are battling out and we got to speak to them and we love them both equally <laughs> okay yes. so everything we say <laughs> here is just an opinion of the criteria but or what we feel is, like you know we adore so them. I, I i love yeah. them both honestly yeah yeah, yeah. But they're amazing athletes such inspiration so yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Honestly, it was really tough sitting there watching it, wasn't it? Because you yeah. just wanted it for both yeah. of them. And I know it's impossible to do that. <laughs> yeah. but I really did want it for both of them. And I think Amy in particular in this show, I'd, oh, she she always shows up. But I do think that her and Jamie are just getting it right. And they're getting closer and closer and closer. Every time she steps on stage, they're getting it, that hairline like more in tune with what the judges want um so credit to her and Jamie as well because I think from if you, if you think about when Amy actually turned pro and her physique at that point yeah. and the trajectory of her success since then is just obscene in such a short space of time so Amy if you're listening at all or Christian like the 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 work that you guys are doing unreal yeah. and Jamie as well I, she like you said she's just working her way up at such a pace 
Yeah. Like, and when we yeah. spoke, it was a case of, okay, on to the next thing, next thing. And this is it, you know, getting yeah. top two in the Arnolds now. And obviously her wins last year as well. And it just means coming into the Olympia, like she's like one point between Laura Lee now. Like yeah. that's exciting for her. Um, she's had so much traction her. from last season, hasn't mm-hmm. she? Like she's yeah. just going and, and she's getting better. Mm-hmm. Every time I watch her, I'm like, she looks better. She mm-hmm. looks better. <laughs> like she but, just looks so good up there. So good. I really, really am obsessed with her. So what what are we saying about the the two, you know, as much as we love them? <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I'm, 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 gonna throw it in. I'm gonna throw it in right yeah go I do think that Laura Lee was a t- like she is a tiny bit leaner if we're looking at these tiny hairs I do think she is a little bit leaner yeah. um I think her doubts are a lot more capped yeah in yes. here and I think with Amy's glue from the front it definitely looks a lot better here there's a lot more fun yeah upper glute whereas yeah. Laura just kind of drops off a little bit that's the front shot mm. for me um and I do think that Amy's midsection is a little bit more pleasing and tidy to look at yeah yeah mm-hmm. look at just kind of like even more even muscle bellies in the midsection there and it's not like too lean at all I just think she was the full the full criteria for me full pack. Yeah. and you can't see like any ribs or anything on Amy either um, the midsection is just very toned though I've always thought that about yeah. it like obviously they all have have tight midsections you know they're peeled at the end of the day but yeah. genetics as well of, of the structure of the waist and the muscle that they carry and how they carry it so yeah, yeah. I just think looking at it on the front if you look at how round her like Amy's glute is mm. and yeah. how snatched her waist is and then how open her top line is like it it is actually very quite incredible yeah. Yeah. yeah really pleasing I think credit to credit to Laura Lee in terms of like her downsizing from the Olympia I think I I can't remember who actually put the two pictures side by side um but the work that she did in terms of pulling her body in and I think I think she got that lean in order to pull everything down um because she has she's got mature muscle and obviously there was a comments flying around that she should do wellness which was ridiculous guys if you are if you are asking whether Laura Lee should be in wellness that you need to study the sport I don't mean to be cruel but you need to study the sport they both of these about ladies. Amy as well like they're exactly you and exactly. the biggest one of the biggest shows study study the sport guys they get on stage less than 120 pounds in most cases yeah. like they like study yeah I won't rant about it but please um but I think credit to Laura Lee in terms of downsizing but I think for me personally, um, I had I had Amy from the back, in particular, um, because look, we all know that Laura Lee's glutes are just on another planet altogether. Um, but completeness in terms of the flow of the physique when they turn around, um, I mean, even from the front, the same. But Laura Lee's front shot is incredible. Like it's incredible. It's hard. It is hard to beat. But from the back, I just felt like Laura Lee's glutes undoubtedly draw attention they are less imposing than we've seen them previously but I do think that Amy was very complete from the back as well so I'm not surprised there was a hairline in it and I don't know whether there was not favoring as such but she's two-time champ three-time champ one point in it which way are you gonna go really I think they're probably looking for someone to be the clear winner yeah. over her as well. Yeah. And when there's just one point in it, how can you possibly sort of differentiate who's going to be like Laura Lee's obviously got a lot of like experience and whatever. So it's kind of like unless someone comes and dethrones her, really yeah. throws her off. It has to be very, very obviously one. I, yes. I guess. Yeah. I yeah. Like exactly. that. I didn't really think about like I personally look at Amy and I'm like that is it for me front and back yeah like, and because Laura Lee has the two wins already behind her mm-hmm. it's like right somebody has to really really be here by a mile a mile yeah. so yeah yeah I totally get that that is like I think when you look at them both from the back as well Laura Lee is so balanced mm-hmm. like her delts and glute are, are so in proportion but then when you look at her standing next to Amy, mm-hmm. I think about when Maureen won the Olympia and she's 
so similar to Maureen's shape and structure. The tie-ins are very, very subtle, but they're there. Like she just looked like, every, this is what I mean. When they were doing the comparisons, we were like, oh, it's going to be Laura Lee. Oh, no, it's going to be Amy. Mm. No, it's going to be Laura Lee. Because every time they turned around, I was like, I, I think know. it's Amy from the back. Yeah, yeah. Even though Laura Lee on her own is literally the criteria, I think when you're doing the comparisons and comparing them together, it's like Amy's, I just thought Amy might have had it from the back, but mm -hmm. only just like, I'm not surprised Laura Lee won because of how tight it was, but I thought Amy was as good as she could have given. Could have given, yeah. <laughs> like, she couldn't have showed up any better. No. I just think personally that Amy is quite close to Jen, Jen's yeah. look as well. Yeah. 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 In the front, yeah, especially they with that say, green. yeah, they always say that the Arnolds, they 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 can look for a different look. In yeah. The versus yeah. So, yeah. Again, yeah. Like Jade always says, it's apples and oranges, but yeah. And I think that like structurally, they're so different. Tall, like Laura Lee's obviously substantially taller. Amy's way more compact, and I think from the front, Laura Lee looks really bubbly everywhere as yeah. well like I think in terms of the muscle fullness across the board like top to bottom I think she's she's really nailed the fullness in terms of consistency across her body like and again even from the back her, her glutes are not as imposing as they usually are her quads were nowhere near as imposing as they were at the Olympia so I do think that they, they they've drawn straws at that point I yeah. really do and I think it comes down as well to like sort of stage presence I mean it, there's very few people who can match Laura Lee's stage presence again like Amy's stunning on stage but there's something uh, there's something magical about watching Laura Lee yeah. up there as well so and you're it, splitting like, hairs yeah like what said she has more experience so yeah. she just yeah. she does go on and owns that stage so yeah. actually one or twice like um mm -hmm. and how many times has she has she been in like the top five olympia as well so do you know what girls i would love to see these two ballad out again oh, oh so would i <laughs> in do the next week like because it's so close it's like i need to see them go up again up against different judges maybe a different peak or whatever because yeah. amy is just getting that good that yeah. i need to see her up against yeah these big Olympians, because yeah. I honestly think coming into the Olympia this year, like she could very well get top three. Yeah, like yeah I do. Home she is I really do. hungry for it. I just want to keep seeing her up against these these big names. So mm -hmm. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. She's just getting so at home up there as well. Like obviously her daughter was with her at the Arnolds again. And it's just, I, I just feel like both of them, as individual athletes having spoken to them as well, I feel like they're both coming into their own in terms of who they are their environments all of that starting to slot together and it's no it's no coincidence that their careers and their placings and things like that and the performances on stage and how they're presenting themselves is this good when everything else is aligned around them yeah so, so it'll true. be interesting to see them up against each other again I, i'd be interested to see ashley or jen in the mix with it like yeah. with these two physiques as well think. because laurel is very different this is the thing. I feel like Ashley does change the game a little bit when she's thrown in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. she's another taller athlete as well. And Jen's that little bit more like taller. Obviously, you've got Amy and, and Maureen that are sort of the shorter side, if you like. Um, but I do think that it, it makes a difference when those girls are in the mix. So it'd be nice to see Laura Lee as she is now with this physique mm -hmm. up against the girls again. Yeah, absolutely. And even Amy up against Ashley would be very yeah. interesting. Um, mm. I don't think Amy has got a qualification. Correct me if I'm wrong. Has she? Amy, not as of yet. Amy Delgado. Or does she automatically qualify because she placed... Did she place top six? No, I don't. I think she came six. Six. Yeah. She was six at the Olympia, yeah. but they only placed top five, don't they, at the, the Olympia? Yeah. yeah. Um, so she was six yeah, at the Ashley. Olympia. So I don't know where the top... Hmm? Set her against Ashley, like in in the New York Pro or something like that this year, one of those yeah. big shows. Yeah, super interesting. Yeah. I'd I'd like to see her go back to the New York Pro and the Pittsburgh yeah. and do the Sasquatch as well. I think it's coming up as well, or was it Warsaw? Yeah, because yeah. she did a run last year and she just cleaned out. 
just yeah. winning back to back. Um, yeah. but yeah, Phoebe. Best Phoebe. Oh. Yes, yeah, and so, she's doing the UK Arnold as well, isn't she? Is in two she? weeks' time, yeah. Oh, that's so yes. exciting. Next, is it next week? week. I'm so upset. I can't believe they're so close together, like two weeks apart. Yeah, so like the Arnold yeah. Ohio was obviously the weekend just gone, and then not this weekend coming up, but the following weekend, the middle of March. You've got the UK Arnold's and we've got, I'm sure Angelica's there. We've got um, Octavia is going. Uh, we've got Eli, Evie's going again. Uh, Phoebe's going again. There's going to be, there's going to be a big lineup at the UK Arnold's as well. So it'd be really interesting to see how the girls sort of peek into that show as well with it being so close. Uh, Obviously having taken feedback on board from the Ohio Arnold's as well. Yeah. So that is mega mm. exciting at the lineup again and we'll be doing a review and uh all of that and in another week we'll be there in person <laughs> are you gonna go yeah where is it on is it Birmingham yes yes yeah. Birmingham NEC yeah awesome so the same same location as the last Arnold's but yeah they're they're doing it again this year so but the lineup having Angelica Teixeira over on UK soil I don't think I'm quite prepared for so that's Angelica, so if funny. you're listening and I hunt you down, I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers and after her with your mic. <laughs> oh, stop. I met Ashley because obviously I did the Arnold's yeah. in 2022 and I met Ashley there and I was like, I was such a fan girl. I still have the photo because I was one day out, but I was. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually, it's mental when you meet them in person as well. It's yeah. like. And they're always so much smaller, like not like taking anything away from them. But there's like, even I met Evie, I have a photo of Evie and she was tiny, like mm -hmm. really, really. But like, they just get so peeled that. And then you see but, them, like it's, yeah, they're actually tiny individuals. So petite. This, oh That's my God, this gave me, it's giving me goosebumps again. Yeah. <laughs> watching so her reaction when she won. Oh. I just think it was so emotional for her on the back of the conversation we had with her as well grace like just i think things are just <laughs> slotting into place so much for laura lee now and to see her sort of coming into her own and winning like she she took a title as well this like not just the bikini international but she's the only three-time reigning champ okay yeah yeah because i'm pretty yeah, sure she's the first right. across the board yeah mm -hmm. wow that is an achievement Mm -hmm. yeah i don't know whether that's exclusive to bikini or whether it's across the board but i'm 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 confident it, like 100 percent sure it's bikini but i don't know whether anybody else like i mean we're talking back sort of in the ronnie coleman days and things like yeah, that i don't know whether there's been consistent ones across the board yeah Damn. but yeah she's the first bikini um first miss bikini international to win three consecutive titles amazing and look, I can tell Amy is just well like, delighted. Amy is delighted with second as well. Like you can tell that she's just really happy even with that. I know she had I mentioned just, that story. She was like, just even to be up against Angelica as well, another mother. Um, yeah. yeah. One point mm -hmm. in it with Laura Lee was such a pleasure. Like she was very humble about it. Um, And Phoebe, I'm mm -hmm. sure she's delighted. So yeah, incredible. Yeah. Angelica. I think Vanya's one to watch as well here. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I think Van is one to watch going into sort of the Olympia as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just really, really like gorgeous shape, lovely conditioning. Like she really yeah. nailed it. Um, it so it'll be interesting yeah. to see how Vanya does. The pro shows last year, didn't she? Yeah. Sorry, am yeah. I might. <laughs> I thought I was breaking up on you. Just delayed. <laughs> I think <laughs> there's a slight delay. I think it is. There is a slight delay. <laughs> I was wondering that as well. I was like, what's going on here? It's probably the video. But, uh... I think it might have been the video, but it's totally fine. <laughs> but no, it's it was an incredible, incredible watch. Like we were just glued, weren't we? Oh. Till three o'clock in the morning, we just couldn't stop watching. Yeah. And yeah. what all we could think of is if they look this good on the telly, <laughs> how good do they actually look in person? Because oh. it was just absolutely incredible. Mm. Like the fire it gives you yeah, and just to see them all even hugging afterwards when they've all like got their placings and just the community everything about it it was just 
oh, it was just incredible. And then obviously we'd watch the whole Arnold's, but we stayed up mainly for bikini and it was just, honestly, it was just incredible. Like I can't wait to go and see the UK one now yeah. and see the improvements that they, they make in their second time mm. um, going again. But it's just so exciting. Like this is what we were saying about bikini that every single person can adapt the bikini criteria to themselves and make it their own mm. so if you can get on stage and you can show that you fit the criteria to your shape and your physique mm. it you can literally do so well at this sport mm. and I just think that is so exciting like because someone can just come in randomly who you weren't expecting and just absolutely take it by storm and and whatever and annihilate just, everyone yeah and just <laughs> clean up and just be like right I'm having this yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it's like so exciting and the fact that you can make the criteria your own and sort of Individual, have a bit yeah body. absolutely yeah. and yeah. you still get the expression with your bikini your jewelry your, and your, your overall presence. look mm -hmm. but you can Every, the bikini looks different on every single person and it's just like oh it's just we were saying we would not have wanted to judge that top oh, no. two no, like no, no. there's a <laughs> there were, literally there was a series of the apprentice fight where alan sugar couldn't decide on a winner and he let them both have it and i was literally like <laughs> maybe there's gonna be a first like because we couldn't call it we were literally yeah, like alan two. Sugar it. Call it two. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, if you're listening, <laughs> or they're but just like, like um, we, and come back again tomorrow. <laughs> and we'll just, yeah, I know. <laughs> we need to try <laughs> again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give me half an hour. Give me yeah. half an hour. <laughs> but then to find out there was only one, one point, point in it, we were like, I'm not surprised. Yeah, they made a point of announcing it as well, like before, like they actually announced the. The first and second and I think that's a nod to the girls as well it's a nod to the ladies up there in terms of how how hard they made it because yeah. that that's them showing up their absolute best isn't it and they they made it a tough go for every single one of the judges the scorecard says that as well but yeah and so I hope who had um, forgiven like as well what I said about the the two of them having them on the podcast like watching mm. these shows it's just those wins and just seeing them up there mean so much more because we've connected with them as people. Yes. And it's, yeah. Like, it just, it's honestly, because you feel like you know them. Like you mm. really do and you're like someone that you really support, you know, you know their background, seeing them up there do their thing. It's just a really, really mm. nice feeling. So I love when these yeah. showcases roll around. Yeah. Just for so long, yeah. like just digging deep into their personalities and just like literally having Laura Lee on a couple of weeks ago. I feel like, like two friend. weeks out from the Arnold's. Yeah. yeah. It's so. ridiculous. And even just me listening to the podcasts, I, I feel like that lets me know them. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like I know them. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, exactly. But it does, it makes you want to root for them yeah. like so much. Like Amy being a mum, Laura Lee after your podcast and was saying like how much she's aligned herself with everything. And it's like, you know how much this means to them outside of the actual result sure. um mm. and you just like yeah um and are and about who you want to win and they, they both deserve to win really yeah. it was incredible yeah it really really is amazing amazing yeah thank Huge you so much for trajectory. coming on um thanks. you guys are free thanks for having me girls <laughs> you you change for doing your reason on me and i hope it's not uh i hope it doesn't come up on the on the screen because you're frozen oh you're back <laughs> it oh, could... oh, oh you did too so i'm not quite sure oh. what's happening but it's fine okay well, we'll wrap it up there wrap it up guys let us know your thoughts in the comments criticism welcome um yeah who did you think was going to be in your top three do you agree with the laura lee winning um and all that good stuff are you still there with me guys yeah no? we're yeah. still here <laughs> We're still here sorry if it's freezing really yeah no, I, do, I just yeah it's like a lagging and everything but yeah anything else yeah. guys yeah no just in terms of trajectory like going into the year what a way to start so can't wait can't yeah. wait now for the pro shows and the way the girls are showing up like and the the demonstration of the bikini criteria and the standard they're setting 
if you're an amateur or if you're not an amateur girls rally up because the, these girls aren't making it easy so let's yeah. go <laughs> exactly exactly Dad, thank you so much for coming on thanks for having me <laughs> such a lag there's such a lag in the <laughs> hopefully the podcast is <laughs> bad but um right i'm gonna wrap this up but only know bye amazing thanks for listening guys <laughs> bye oh uh...